wish you continued success in the years to come. Central Adventist Academy, PCAA, to make this presentation in honor of my school centennial. What a milestone. What a birthday. Did you know that birthdays are good for your health? It is a scientific fact. People who have more birthdays live longer. <laughs> it is a noteworthy accomplishment but served the community of Winnipeg since 1924. I will highlight, given the 10 minutes or so that I've been allotted, I will highlight the context of our school, the historical context, the philosophical underpinnings, as well as uh, the, I guess I will cast a vision of the future as well. You see, PCAA is sponsored by the Seventh-day Adventist Church of Canada. As an educational arm of the church, we are amongst over 9,000 educational institutions, uh, ranging from early childhood to tertiary and vocational institutions around the world. Our organization celebrates over 900 schools in North America. See, next to our Catholic brothers and sisters, we operate the second largest Protestant Christian school system. The Seventh Adventist Church, since its founding in the mid 1800s, considers itself as a movement, a movement aimed at sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and pointing the world to a time when the same Jesus will return and return as the only hope for addressing the challenges faced by our communities. As the church grew in its appeal across North America, it established various health institutions and of course schools. The first school arrived in 1853 in New York and later in 1883 in Stukely, Quebec. Today, PCAA is one of 45 schools owned and operated by the Seventh-day Adventist Church across Canada. In 1906, with the establishment of the first church in Winnipeg, one pastor, Neil McGill, established the first school in his home. The school in the basement uh, home grew until it was officially recognized in 1924 when it then again moved to another basement, this time in the basement of the church on Bannerman Avenue. Having survived the Great Depression and war years, the school was a welcome attraction for families from across the city of Winnipeg and not just Adventist families, but the larger Winnipeg community. And PCA continues to attract families from both inside and outside the city of Winnipeg. Thanks to the legacy of many committed persons, the SDA Church uh, community, community banded in 1961 to purchase property and building, which is still located at 56 Gray Street. Known as the school at the end of the near overpass, the Winnipeg Junior Adventist Academy, as it was then known, met the educational needs of students from kindergarten to grade 10 until it was renamed Red River Valley Junior Academy, a name no doubt inspired by one of her most renowned tributaries. In 1985, under the leadership of Professor John Welch, then the school board chair, and as well as an architect, architectural professor at the University of Manitoba, four additional classrooms were built to accommodate the needs of the growing student population. In 2011, the Winnipeg uh, constituency of churches voted to add portable classrooms in response to an influx of students spurred by the increasing trend of newcomers to Manitoba. It was always the desire of our stakeholders that PCAA grow to add grades 11 and 12. 
Their desire was awarded in 2019 when Manitoba Education and Early Childhood uh, Learning supported our decision to expand to grade 11 and uh, subsequently grade 12 in 2020. These extra classes fueled the need to rebrand our school. This rebranding resulted in our current name, Prairie Central Adventist Academy, PCAA. Today, PCAA is home to nearly 200 students and over 20 faculty and support staff. Represented us tonight is a combination of the of school board members, faculty, and constituents. And so, uh, uh, sitting at two tables tonight, or individuals uh, representing our school community, could you just stand, please, so we can acknowledge our uh, representatives of our school. We have some alumni here. There are three of them here, and one over by the PCAA is a proud member of the NFIS. NFIS's slogan of supporting parental choice, diversity, and excellence in education are meaningful tenets to my school and all of us here as independent school uh, members. We're pleased that Manitoba Education and Early Childhood Learning also embrace these values. Let us applaud Manitoba Education and Early Childhood Learning for their support for choice, diversity, and excellence in education. PCAA, like all Adventist schools, is girded by the philosophy that the needs of the whole child should be developed. Hence, the four quadrants of holistic education, the spiritual, the cognitive, social, emotional, and the physical. According to one of our founders, education should prepare students for a never-ending and an ever-growing relationship with their creator. Since education and the restoration of the creator's values of love, kindness, justice, and mercy are considered as one, staff and students at PCAA engage in daily morning worship, a prayer, and singing. The Bible is studied in its in the various forms, and it is the basis for developing the characters and morals of our students and staff. Our founder also said, proper education includes not only mental discipline, but a training that will secure sound morals and correct deportment. There is value at our school in exploring outdoor learning and gardening, encouraging our students and teachers to reflect on their learning and on their teaching, critical thinking, collaboration, constructivist teaching and learning. Our founder also said, Christ-like sociability is altogether too little cultivated in our schools. This branch of education should not be lost or neglected in our schools. And so at our school, PCAA, we encourage friendships for a lifetime, kindness, multi-age experiences, cross-cultural experiences, and our founder also said, that true education is the preparation of the physical, the mental and moral powers for the performance of every duty. It is a training of body, mind, and soul for divine service. And so at our school, community service endeavors are emphasized. There's a focus on health, healthy living, gardening, recycling, physical, manual labor, classroom chores, practices that teach usefulness and contribute to the economic foundations of our society. PCA hopes that the future is bright for us. We hope to witness another 100 years of service. What a blessing. The school and church community are optimistic about our future here in the province of Manitoba. In anticipation of growing demand for space, our school is embarking on a 5,000 square feet addition 
provide extra classrooms at the present site. Mind you, we need more money. And in fact, our accountant is here tonight, so if you have some in your pockets, you see her. <laughs> Additionally, the school board's vision is to find land and to build a state-of-the-art new school. As the province of Manitoba continues to provide possibilities to good governance and support, our independent schools will continue to offer choice for the families who choose to enroll their children in our schools. The rich diversity within our province will continue and should continue to be nourished. Excellence in education will be derived through the many perspectives of what constitutes a good education. In closing, thank you to the MFIS for your continued support the support that you give to us as independent schools and for your partnership, your partnership with Manitoba Education, Early Childhood Learning. Thank you so much.